What's up, sports bettors? I gave out these player props on prize picks earlier, but we're going to be switching over to a different platform, which is called Parlay Play, okay? So this is a platform. I've only been using it for a few months. It's kind of a new, you know, competitor to prize picks because prize picks is really successful. A lot of companies starting up trying to do the same thing, and there's a lot of profitable bets on Parlay Play. So I've explained this in other videos, but you know, in these videos, I'm just showing you where I'm finding an edge, what I'm putting my own money on. And Parlay Play is a platform similar to Prize Picks. I'm up roughly 1,700 bucks in profit since I signed up a few months ago, and they only have a maximum bet size of $60. So not particularly bad. Max bet size of 60 bucks, up 1,700 bucks. A lot of profitable plays on this platform, and they also have an $100 signup bonus. So I initially signed up just to get the free $100 signup bonus, and then I realized, wow, there's actually a lot of profitable plays on this platform. So I've been sharing a bunch of plays for this platform. And I've explained this, right? Like these books, they all set lines independently. So you never know which book is gonna have value on a given day, right? And also these books have different promos. So if you look at the NHL, Prize Picks is running a promo, Taco Tuesday. They run this every Tuesday where they discount players. So there's so many reasons to sign up for multiple sports books, right? First of all, you never know which book is gonna have value, is gonna have profitable bets on a given day. Second of all, they all have different promos. And then third of all, you get a $105 deposit bonus from Parlay Play when you sign up. But anyways, my first pick is from the Sportsbook screen. So I'm just on Odds Jam. You go to Sportsbook, Sportsbook screen. And this betting tool is like pretty simple, right? There's no frills, no BS. All it does is for a specific market you want to look at. So here I'm looking at, you know, player points plus rebounds plus assists. But you can look at any market you want, but essentially all this tool does is it reads in where every sports book is setting the lines. So what you're going to notice is for Jalen Brown, all the books have his line at 33 and a half PRAs. There's no value in the market, right? There's no discrepancies, no value. Don't touch this play with a 10 foot pole. However, you look at Gabe Vincent, what you're going to notice is, hey, prize picks has Gabe Vincent's line at 17 and a half PRAs, right? But if you look at every sports book, they also have Gabe Vincent's line at 17 and a half PRAs. FanDuel actually has the over, right? They have Gabe Vincent's over 17 and a half PRAs favored. Underdog, Jock Market, these other fantasy platforms are at 17 and a half. Parlay plays at 17. Their line is too low, right? We literally have dozens of other data points. Every sports book posting odds is a data point on where should this line be set. All the books are at 17 half. Some books have the over slightly favored, right? And all the fantasy sites are at 17 half. Parlay plays at 17, so their line is too low. This is what happens when books try to set lines independently. So finding plays, you know, like Gabe Vincent, over 17 and a half, over 17 PRAs is exactly how you find an edge, make money on parlay play. So before I very briefly um, get into my other five picks, I kind of like to explain like how these platforms work, right? So the way that Parlay Play works is it's a fixed payout platform. Any six picks you select, you're getting this exact payout, right? If I switch Wainwright to an under, I'm still getting the same payout, right? If I remove this play and add in a different pick, so let's say I decide, oh, I want to add in, you know, Stegen saves. What a surprise. We're getting the exact same payout. Any six picks you select, you're always getting the exact same payout. So essentially, you know, the way this platform makes money is they assume you have no advantage, right? And if you have no edge, no advantage, you're going to get 50% of your picks right, 50% wrong. Your over-unders, you're going to get correctly 50% of the time, and you're going to lose 50% of them if you have no advantage, right? So on parlay play, you have to win 53.2% of your picks to be profitable. So that's their business model, right? They don't charge you a fee for placing a bet. It's quite simple. They assume most sports bettors have no edge, no advantage, and they're only gonna, just like flipping a coin, heads versus tails, 50-50, they're only gonna be able to get these over-unders correctly 50% of the time. But to win on parlay play, you have to win 53.2% of your player props. So one of the betting tools I use to find prop bets, winning above 53.2% of the time is right here. It's called the Fantasy Optimizer. Fantasy, Fantasy Optimizer. 
And you can use this betting tool, you know, for whatever, prize picks, underdog, boom, fliff, like all these fantasy sites, prize picks is the same way. You'll notice any five pick entry you create on prize picks, this is the payout you're getting, right? This is another fixed payout platform. They don't change your payout based on the five picks you select. So on parlay play, we're just looking for player props winning above 53.2% of the time. And that's what the fantasy optimizer shows us. So you're going to see all of the picks in green are winning above 53.2% of the time. You don't want to take these picks in red, right? Even if they're winning 51% of the time, so you have a slight advantage, right? If you can win 51% of your over-unders, only losing 49%, you still have a slight advantage, but that's not 53.2%. So you're not going to be profitable on parlay play. So what this tool does is it just highlights for you in green the prop bets that are winning above 53.2% of the time. So one example of a really good one is um, Robert Williams under seven and a half points. So some plays, you know, again, like I'm just showing you the bets I'm placing. You may use different sports books. There's literally 194 sports books on Odds Jam. You can see the top play is on Fliff. And then Bally Bet, right? All these books set prices, set lines independently. So you want to have as many books as possible. So, for example, if you have Bally Bet, you can get Jack Eichel to have under half of a point, so zero points, at plus 170. No other book is giving you better than plus 146. So really good value on this play, right? Just the bet in bold and in green from the positive EV tool. But again, like... You may have different sports books. I'm currently not in a state. Bally Bet, I think, is only in like maybe Iowa and New York. So I don't have access to it right now. So I'm missing out on this profitable bet. But you may see different plays. Again, in these videos, I'm just showing you where I'm putting my own money. So what you're going to notice is all of the sports books, right? Robert Williams, they have his under seven and a half points heavily favored, right? Around like minus 140 odds. So Odds Jam just calculates the win probability for your plays based on sportsbook odds. And again, like Parlay plays a platform where they literally don't change your payout based on you selecting over versus under. In all of the sportsbooks, you literally have hundreds of data points. All these sportsbooks posting NBA odds have Robert Williams under seven and a half points as the heavily favored outcome. So you want to take his under, right? This is a pick winning above 54.55% of the time. So I took all four of these plays, you know, I literally just follow the data. I know I'm not smarter than the market. No offense, nobody watching this video is smarter than the market. You can't build better models than sports books. They've all invested hundreds of millions of dollars in their ability to set lines. And they all have Robert Williams under seven and a half points, heavily favored. They all have Jack Eichel under three and a half shots on goal, heavily favored. They all have Rich Hill over four and a half strikeouts, heavily favored. So those are the picks you want to go with on parlay play. So pretty simple. I got six picks. Williams under seven and a half points. Eichel under three and a half shots on goal. Hill over four and a half Ks. Allen under five and a half Ks. All these picks just straight off the fantasy optimizer, right? All of these plays in green are what we want to go with. And then I also ended up taking Vincent over 17 PRAs and Lowry under 17 PRAs. Six picks. Let's make some money. Any questions you have, never hesitate to reach out. Let's get money. <laughs>